how and why climate has changed the way it has been. Usually, a Nobel Prize in Physics is awarded to the physicist who did sort of fundamental contribution uh, to uh, physics. However, mine is, yes, it's based upon uh, physics, uh, but uh, it's applied physics. The whole geophysics are like that. And very few people received Nobel Prize for the kind of work I have done, study of climate change. Crucial to your, that really has so much of the things you... So uh, this is still a big surprise. So I couldn't believe the news which is going on until this morning I finally convinced myself I am receiving the prize. I start boiling down, boiling down. What I have done is to create mathematical model of climate as a natural extension of numerical daily weather prediction, uh, which now has become indispensable for your daily life. It took so long to write this book, only 20, 200 pages. Yeah. Climate change involves not only issue of energy, uh, issue of agriculture, uh, and, and, and so issue of economy, So you can easily imagine to make a decision on climate change is maybe a thousand times more difficult than finding out how and why climate is changing. And the main focus of the uh, activity is to understand climate change. You know, in order to uh, decide what action you are going to take. Before that, you should understand why climate change is, a way, is, change, climate is changing the way it does. And uh, the, without understanding uh, prediction of climate change is no better than uh, no better than prediction of fortune teller. This book evolved from my lecture I was giving at the university. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, it is uh, one thing to predict climate change. But it is another thing. What are you going to do, given that prediction? Is that, a, is that a scientific book, or is it for the layman? Is it for a person who doesn't study climate change? Like, would I be able to understand that book, or only...